Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In my last video, Zai D. Zai asked, would you ever consider doing a little tour of your room that you record in? Well, this video is for you. Let's start the tour right away. I'm going to go ahead and take you off the tripod and we're going to just work our way around the room. Of course, we have the flag that I usually have in the background of almost all my videos when I shoot them up here. I have my Office Jet Pro 8600 that I do all my scanning and printing with. Um, this monitor is either a third monitor or second monitor of my main computer or a computer might be attached that I'm working on. Two videos ago I had a HP Chromebox on here which uh, will be a video that's coming up. This is a um, my editing software that I edit all my videos here on YouTube. You might have already um, actually seen this video. I think I posted that. Uh, I think it was my last video. And it is uh, iMovie. <laughs> iMovie version 9. I actually don't like the latest one, so I'm using version 9. It's only on a Mac, which we'll, we'll get to. That's over here. Um, I usually keep some sort of PDA or uh, <laughs> show it by age, a tablet down here somewhere. I have my Bluetooth keyboard that I could switch between three devices on this. I did a review a while back. Nice mouse. I, um, I do have a small save here that I keep on the ready that I could access very quickly. In it is a Beretta PX4. There's the ammo that's in it. Now, when I take pictures of items, I usually put it on this, but I turn it over. This is a rotary cutting mat, and I usually just sit it right here at my desk. And then I put, this is loaded, so I'm going to handle it safely. I'll usually uh, do the thumbnail for the video and sort of take a snapshot, usually just like that. I'll just go click. And uh, also, when I'm showing off stuff, I'll do it on this background. I like the plain background because if you have something with lines or something with a pattern like this, the camera tends to try to focus on that. I wanted to focus on the subject, not the background. So, really good. I do recommend uh, if you do have firearms, you um, have them locked, but in it, locked in a device that you can access extremely quickly when needed. Here's my blue microphone. I had done a video on it a while back. It is a popular video. I use this for voiceovers. It's attached to the back that I do the video editing with. I'll also sometimes even use it on the um, regular video and I'll sort of simultaneously record while videotaping on this and then sort of sync the audio to the video in the editing software, the iMovie software there. So here's the Mac that I use. It's a Mac Mini right there. And that's what's the video that's what the video editing software is on. Actually, this Mac right here, which is my old old Mac, that's the one that's on that monitor over there right now. I'm just sort of um, messing around with it. I put boot camp on it and put Windows 7 on there also so it could boot up in both Mac and Windows. Okay, here's a, another screen. This is a second monitor off a, a Windows computer right here. And what this is is like usually when, I, when I'm shooting a video and it's pointed at me while I'm sitting at my desk, it's on this tripod here, and I can look over this monitor and look at notes of things I want to talk about. When I first started doing videos, I used to have to write out everything. And now I just sort of wing it and try to uh, be more natural. And uh, usually that um, comes out better, but it could bite you in the butt too because I could say a lot of stupid things. Um, up here have a battery backup for certain items. I have my ready helmet for survival situation. <laughs> um, I got my alien glasses up here on top of a uh, shortwave radio. And I have my ham radio. It's like an amplify electric, uh, sorry, a power supply and a two meter um, Alinko. I don't even know if Alinko is still in business anymore. I got a, uh, a battery powered lantern up there, emergency. Um, some of you might recognize this right there. That's my plate of truth. Now my lighting, um, there's one of them. And of course I probably whited out the video, but I have another one here that's not lit. 
that's on a pedestal. That studio lighting, that thing has uh, like five bulbs in it and it gets extremely bright and that's what I use for my lighting. So I have two of those, one there and one there. My window, my guitar that um, I can't play, <laughs> but maybe four or five chords. I fan, it does get hot up here. Uh, my uh, one vent there is at the end of all the ventilation in this house so it, this room uh, usually is the warmest one <laughs> so what you're looking at here is all the items that are uh, are, are for, up for possible review coming up here shortly for instance uh, and I've had this for quite a while Sog Spirit have a, another Victoria Nux I always say it wrong Vic Victorinox, I'm not probably saying it wrong. Nice SOG multi tool right there. Bear Grills, by the way, Bear Grills, this is his mini survival tool. This is probably going to be the next video. And the reason why is because he has a show that just came out, so it's probably going to be pretty popular. Everyone's going to get back into Bear Grills, whether they like him or not. Um, he does have a show where he brings famous people along <laughs> for the ride, and it's. Uh, it makes for an interesting show. Um, believe it or not, my Walmart <laughs> had some 22. They also had this uh, right here, this Tula Brass Max 9mm for 27 bucks. So I thought that might be a good video to go out and, and shoot it and test it and see if it's uh, worth it. And I have all kinds of other items. Classic um, Crossman. Pump. <laughs> little things, little things here and there. And of course, uh, whatever else I come across. By the way, I have some juices here. This is really important to me. Vapor 99. I finally have a, a real store, <laughs> a vape uh, shop close by. So um, I, if things go right, maybe I'll do some videos there. Be really cool. Anyway, I've um, got a big couch here. This couch, uh, this room is sort of like a guest room also, so this can open up into a bed, but right now it serves as a bed for, for Ty, right there. And of course, uh, getting down, getting funky. <laughs> I love my little gadgets. And who wouldn't like a lava lamp? Right there, which, uh, there we go. Is it working? Yeah, it's working. And we got a little sparkly here. Ah! Alright, incense. A nice wood box down here that I just picked up at Ross, I think. Um, for just for a couple of bucks, I got a lot of juices in there. Um, here, um, I keep a lot of books here and a lot of uh, vape gear here. And I got a TV here right now with a Roku stick on the back. That's all it has is the Roku stick. I got speakers that squirt up water. I might do a review on those. And uh, the Roku stick. Right now it's running an aquarium channel. Pretty cool, huh? Kind of looks real. And of course my famous sign. And I mean it. <laughs> so there it is. That's, uh, that's a tour of the studio here at the Gear Obsession channel. Um, tour of the room. Oh yeah, this, this crazy picture right here. Uh, this might have showed up in a video or two. My aunt took this picture. We uh, used to live across the street from her and my wife and I had really 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 bad colds and we wanted to come over. We didn't want to give them the cold so we wore these uh, little masks <laughs> and uh, we went across the street and she said I gotta take a picture of this and uh, shot a picture and I was pissed off it threw up my fist and I'm like quit messing around we just wanted to give him something but she made uh she made this it's like the constitution but in the background she's uh quite an artist so that definitely deserved a spot here in uh, the gear obsession studio so really um that's it i think that's everything um up here a lot of black boxes you know this is uh speaker obviously have my router Wi-Fi it does both 2.4 and 5 and um, really good net gear it was top of the line when I got it 
lots of hard drives <laughs> lots of hard drives NAS right there because video takes up a lot of space a lot of storage is required if you shoot as much video as me so I think that's it I think that's it here's some of my favorite EEC uh, knives that I carry lately charging a battery there this is to uh, test the resistance of a coil it also makes it easier when you're building a coil I put the atomizer just leave it set up there and build the coil and wick sort of really good charging up signal light right there well I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Gear Obsession Studios <laughs> okay well thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel I really appreciate every friend viewer subscriber and especially you and for Zai Zai, I hope I gave you the tour that you were looking for. Okay, well, have a great day.